Well, we have got the Tim Systems Magic Stove installed. It goes uh, through into the sauna uh, chimney and then up. And here you have a, a damper there which you can close so that uh, if you don't want the smoke coming out from the sauna back into the stove then you can close that down there. Like that. On the top here you can uh, cook uh, or boil water. And it's got these vents for shooting out hot air on both sides. And also down the front it's got holes for shooting out air. This is the, the ash pan underneath. There. And you have this small lever here at the side. And it uh, moves the grate so that the ashes fall down into the ash pan and uh, you don't have to sort of get it out with a shovel. Up here on this lever you can see if you can see it here, it's uh, a small uh, on that side. Then compared to do that side, it's fully open. And this is for the secondary airflow, so that the, the gases that are coming off when you're burning the wood, you can. Uh, Recycle it through and burn it so it's a very efficient burn. And if you look at the the back there, I don't know if you can see them, but those are the holes where the the preheated air comes through, and you get uh, secondary combustion in the firebox in the chamber. There, the door is sealed with this special sort of cloth so it becomes airtight so it helps in the burning of the of the wood and when you close the door and down here this is the primary airflow which you can control how much air is going into the fire and how quickly it burns. So, there's two controls for air on it. That's the primary one there and that's the secondary one there. And at the moment, in the cabin, when we look at the temperature and the time, it's now three minutes past twelve and indoors it's 15 degrees and outside it's 16 so it's warmer outside than inside so I'm now going to start the fire and uh, see how long it takes for the room to go up to 20 degrees which I think would be quite suitable to start off the fire you have some paper and put the wood in a crisscross fashion. You also have that completely open there, the secondary airflow and also the primary airflow. And you start it off with the door open, of course, you wouldn't be able to set it on fire if the door was closed, would you? As soon as the wood begins to catch, then you can close the door. So it'll take a little while to get going.
once you see the wood is actually burning then you can close the draw door and it should begin to draw up the chimney so that's it in at the back I think it looks pretty good now now we close the door Sparking away nicely, and it's drawing the air in through this primary hole here, up through the grate and into the fire. No smoke coming into the room. You can see the flames up the top there. I think they'll. This is where the secondary combustion comes in once the air gets heated up. And the waste gases that are coming off the wood when it's burning, it also burns as well. So you have a very efficient burning of the wood. Now that the fire is burning well uh, and it's got off to a good start, you don't want the wood to burn away quickly. So you can reduce the amount of air intake through the, the primary air intake here so it will burn slower. And if we look at the The thermometer. Now we can see that uh, indoors, uh, I think it was three minutes, so it's about 14 minutes now, the temperature has risen up to 17.7. Outside it's 17.2. So it's heating up. And that's it burning quite vigorously. Now I've done some experiments before. You can put a, a pot of water on there, about a litre, and it will boil in about five minutes quite nicely. You can feel the hot air coming out from, from these vents now. So that's how it works. We'll see how long it takes for it to go up to 20 degrees from 16. And that's the outside chimney. And as you can see, there's hardly any smoke coming out at all. So that everything is being burnt. And I suppose that's a good sign that it's functioning properly. On this angle you can see that there's no smoke coming out, but there is, if you look just behind those trees, something like a little sort of heat haze. You know those sort of mirages you usually get when you're walking along a road and still heat coming up off the road. I can see it here, but I don't know if this camera will pick it up. But uh, absolutely no smoke coming out the chimney. 
there you can see the efficiency of the secondary bonding there. The logs are just bonding rather sort of slowly. And when I was out <laughs> following the exhaust coming out the the roof, I came back in and there it is. In 23 minutes the temperature is up to 20 degrees. So it's quite fast. Oh now the wife is in the other room scraping things down. So now I've closed down the primary air. So there's only a little amount of air going in there all the time. And here you can see that uh, we are still the, just the two big logs that I put in a little while ago. But, uh, they're just burning nicely. So we'll see how long it takes for these logs to burn out. With uh, just this primary. A little bit open. So that's the two bits of wood almost completely burnt away now. And uh, when we look at the time over here, it's uh, 12.50, so it's been about 47 minutes going with two bits of wood and the inside temperature now is uh, 23 7 so you can get up to a good temperature in a short space of time and outside it's 19 the sun's beginning to move around the back of the house now It's one thing to heat up a room, uh, but uh, you want to know uh, how well it's insulated and how it maintains the heat in the room afterwards. You can see that the fire is now completely out. And when we look at the time and the temperature, it's now 25 minutes past one on the indoor temperature. Is still above 23, 23.1. So the room is pretty well insulated. I think it's got about 40 centimeters of body wheel under the floor and the same amount in the attic space. So it's holding the temperature rather well. I'll do another reading in about an hour's time. We'll see you how it has maintained the temperature or dropped it. Then we can calculate how uh, fast it drops over an hour period. Well the stove, it's got a little bit of heat still in it. This is cast iron on the top. Not much, I would say maybe about 30 degrees or something like that. But now it's There, five minutes past three, and the temperature in here is still 21.2. So, did I start at one o'clock? So, that's two hours, and the room is still above 20. So, nice heat from two logs, a well insulated room. There we are, I've now been here about 1 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 3 hours and the temperature has dropped to 20. So, I think that's good.